Hey guys, Chad from Six Blog. Uh, I got a hike coming up, and in preparation for that hike, I was going through my meals and everything. Um, I'm going to be bringing some of my hawk vittles, which I generally carry on pretty much all of my hiking trips. Um, but I wanted to try a new recipe. Um, some of you may remember um, it's been maybe a year and a half or so ago. I posted a video to where I talked about a uh, pad thai kind of fast pack pad thai that I came across from Matthew Kirk. Uh, and off subject, if you don't know who Matthew Kirk is, he recently set the unsupported uh, Appalachian Trail through hike speed record. Um, anyway, uh, I came across a video of him making that fast pack pad thai. I tried it. I really liked it. I've been using it for uh, quite a lot of my trips, uh, at least one time. I like it because it's easy to make. It's real simple to make. Uh, it doesn't cost a lot to buy the ingredients. Uh, and it's actually kind of a clean meal, meaning I can actually cook that one in my cook pot and I don't have a big mess to clean up. Um, saying that, just a few weeks ago I came across a video from Caesar from uh, over at Caesar in the Woods, and he had a little bit different version of a pad thai meal. Um, so I asked him some more of the specifics uh, on how he made it. Uh, he told me. I went and picked up some of the items that I didn't have, and I'm going to give it a try today. Uh, and that's what this video is going to be about. And of course, I'm gonna, if I like it, uh, I'm going to carry it with me and uh, eat it for one of my meals on my hike coming up. Um, now, just saying, um, this these items were relatively inexpensive to buy as well. Um, this here is just some um, rice noodles. Um, I think it was about two bucks for a pack that had three and a half servings in it. And I tried to break it up the best I could to get about one serving, uh, and that's about 200 calories per serving. And then over here uh, in this bag, you can see I have uh, some peanut butter. Uh, these came in a packet, like eight of these were like 250. And they have 250 calories per serving. I got a little bit of salt and pepper uh, in a little container there. I uh, didn't have vegetable bouillon cubes uh, at the store I was at, so I got these little packets. Uh, it's like a concentrated, it's the same thing, supposedly. Uh, and then I just have some olive oil and uh, some sriracha sauce. Um, and it's pretty straightforward the way he makes it. So what I'm going to do uh, is just kind of take my... Uh, this is a cook kit I believe I'm going to be carrying on this hike. This is my 0.9 liter Evernew cook pot with a matching Sidewinder, Sidewinder Trildera. Shoot, I'm all messed up. This is my 0.9 liter Evernew cook pot and I'm using the uh, Sidewinder Caldera cone uh, along with the Starlight stove uh, to go with it. Um, just saying, uh, this should be about 550 to 600 calories, just depending on how much of what you put in it. So, not too bad. And, uh, when I measured it, it was about right at 7 ounces. So, not the best weight to calorie ratio, but, you know, uh, for a shorter trip, um, you know, especially if it's a good meal, it doesn't really matter. So, um, what I'm going to do here is go ahead and get this set up. Okay, so I think I've pretty much got everything just about ready here. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add about 400 milliliters of water, is what he suggests. Let's go ahead and add that to my cook pot. Um, next, he suggests to add the pepper and the vegetable bouillon. Um, I want to say that uh, just for this, um, I went ahead and mixed my salt and pepper in the same container. So because uh, he recommend adding salt at the end, and that's just so that you can kind of add it to your uh, taste preference. Um, but I've got it already here, so I'm just going to add some of this in. Like I said, it's just plain old salt and some uh, pepper. Go ahead and add in the vegetable bouillon mix. came out a bit different than I was expecting it to. I was expecting it to be more liquidy. Um, you can see it's kind of like a glob there. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so, um, and then also I might go ahead and add my noodles. Now, uh, he, at first he suggested that, uh, he suggested to add the noodles towards, uh, once the water was coming to a boil. I asked him if there was any specific reason. And uh, he said, no, not really. 
Um, so these noodles are kind of big and I'm having a tough time breaking them so this is going to be interesting because uh, ideally I would like to break them in half so that they would fit in the pot. But that just isn't really happening. So, let's stick them in there. See if that'll kind of mix up a little bit. Yeah. A vegetable bouillon mixed up pretty good. Get the rest of my noodles. This is actually the first time that I've used rice noodles. Um, and my other methods, uh, I would use uh, ramen, and it always worked out pretty well. All right, that's uh, that's interesting. Okay, so I've got that on in there. Go and put my lid on there. Once I'll soften up, it won't be an issue. Um, so like I said, for my stove, I'm using the uh, Starlight stove. I've got approximately 20 milliliters of heat from a yellow bottle. Go ahead and light that. And get things going here. So I'm not going to make you watch it boil. Uh, once it uh, starts boiling down, um, I'll go ahead and come back and do some more then. Um, so, we'll see you then. Okay, so, take a look at it here. You can see it's uh, got a little bit of boiling going on. Um, and you can also tell that the noodles have obviously softened up. So, the next step is going to be add the peanut butter and olive oil. Now I can't say that I've ever added peanut butter. Um, I've added the uh, peanuts. So this will be interesting. I don't know if this is going to be too much. He, I believe he said he only added like one heaping teaspoon. So, this is probably going to be a little more than that. And go ahead and put some olive oil in here. Like I said, as much as, as you want, I'm going to put about a half an ounce. There you go. I can definitely smell the peanut butter. And he was saying that um, he usually, by the time he gets to this point, the uh, stove would actually be about out. So he would just kind of let it sit and it would get creamy. So I'm going to let it cook for a little bit longer and uh, see what happens. Okay, guys. Here it is. You can see I've, uh, the stove is out. I've uh, added some dried bell peppers, because I'm a big fan of dried bell peppers in uh, my meals. I've added that in. I'm going to go ahead and add some sriracha, and then see what this tastes like. Um, unfortunately, I need to make the hole on this dropper a little bigger. stuff's kind of warm, at least to me. Um, one thing I've noticed is uh, this might be a little tough to eat with my spoon here. I uh, may have been better off with chopsticks. Alright, so here we go. I can get some of this in my spoon. It's 
actually pretty good. <clears throat> These noodles are different. I think I like that pretty good. Uh, one thing I think I'm going to do different, though, is uh, before I bag the noodles up, I think I'm going to cut them up with a knife. Um, that way uh, it might be easier to eat with my spoon and it'll be easier to fit in my cook pot whenever I'm trying to boil them. Um, but otherwise, uh, I think this is going to be a good little meal. I appreciate it, uh, Caesar, for giving me the idea, and I look forward to eating this out on the trail. If you have any comments or questions, just post them below, and I'll do my best to answer or reply. Or you can get in touch with Caesar over at Caesar in the Woods, and he'll be happy to answer any questions as well. Uh, and guys, I appreciate you watching. See you next time.